Heidi and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite go-to herb teas. Now I am no doctor but whenever I have a cold or a feeling nauseous I always turn to ginger and turmeric tea. Now ginger is great for inflammation, nausea or if you're having stomach issues and the turmeric, the turmeric is great for respiratory challenges. So when these two roots are put together, they form an amazing tea. This recipe that I'm gonna share with you was passed on from my 87 year old aunt. She swears by herbal teas. The amount of teas that she would drink based on the ingredients you find in the earth are amazing. I'll share some other recipes with you sometime down the road. But now let's go over the ingredients to this amazing ginger and turmeric tea. We have two tablespoons of grated ginger. Now, if you have the powdered ginger, you can use that, but I'm gonna use my ginger root, which we're going to grate. Two tablespoons of grated ginger. Two tablespoons of grated turmeric. Now, when you're grating turmeric, you must be careful because it always leaves a yellow stain on your hand. I'm gonna use a food glove before I grate. I recommend you do the same because you don't want your hands to be completely yellow. We're going to use one tablespoon of lime and a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, this is optional. Now, if you have a really bad cold, though I'm not a doctor, you can go ahead and add the black pepper because it really helps soothe your throat. But if you don't and you want to leave this one out, you can. But for now, we're going to use it. One a teaspoon of black pepper and honey to taste. We're gonna put about three cups of water on to boil. And when it has started to boil, then we're gonna add the other ingredients. Our water is boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our turmeric. You see that beautiful orange color? So nice. And we're gonna add, it just changes the water completely. And we're gonna add our ginger. Ginger has such an amazing aroma. We'll allow it to boil together for about five minutes. Then we'll turn the stove off and allow it to steep for another five minutes. Then we'll strain it. Our tea is almost finished. We would have allowed it to steep for a few minutes after turning the stove off. Now we're gonna add the black pepper. Remember, this is optional. If you have a really bad cold, I definitely encourage you to use it. If you don't have a bad cold, but you just want your ginger turmeric tea, you can leave it out. But you must have that lime juice. That acidity, you see the difference in the color? It just brightens the color. Now we're gonna strain it and get ready to taste after sweetening. Our ginger and turmeric tea is done. It looks gorgeous, that beautiful color. Now it's time to sweeten according to your taste. We're gonna use honey, but if you don't have honey and you want to use sugar, you can, but I highly recommend honey. Then we're gonna taste. Honey is so smooth. And honey also has some additional medicinal benefits. So you can't go wrong by using honey. Now it's time to taste. Strong, rich, very nutritious, and so good for you. I highly recommend you using ginger and turmeric tea. And Doris, thank you so much for passing down this recipe. So now I pass it to you. Ginger and turmeric tea, now you need to try it. If you have enjoyed this ginger and turmeric recipe, I want you to look over here, see some of my other tea recipes. And once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.